Hello, and welcome to Radio NIGP. Welcome to Summer in our July episode, where we look forward to the 2024 NIGP Forum in Charlotte, North Carolina. Keeping our shorter format, this episode is still packed with relevant information that you can only get here. So grab your drink of choice, sit back, and enjoy this episode of Radio NIGP. Hi, I'm Don Buff, and this is Radio NIGP Hot Topics. Today we're talking about something about forum, of course. And what we're going to talk about is how you stay energized or how you treat yourself at forum. Um, I'm going to start out, with, you know, with an admission. I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm, it's not that I'm shy. I get my energy a different way than most people. Uh, or not most people, but introverts get their energy from not being around a lot of people, from alone time, time to think, time to focus. So forum, you're around thousands of people. You're around people all the time. So I get really drained. So one thing I do is I try to get off by myself sometimes in the morning. I'll take a, a walk, walk, 30, 45 minute walk. Ho- hopefully it'll be cool enough that I can get outside and do that. But then also like at lunch, when everybody else is going off in these groups to eat at restaurants, I tend to go off by myself and find myself in a restaurant by myself. And I feel bad sometimes because I see other groups of NIGP people and I hope they don't think I'm a snob, but I just need that downtime. Um, the other thing i found is a healthy balance. Um, you know, I... When I was younger, I stayed out much later. I um, partook of beverages much later, and I didn't really eat that well. I, if, if I went to a restaurant, I'd eat everything in front of me, and I'd wake up the next morning just feeling terrible. I've learned that moderation and keeping a healthy balance, you know, drinking more water than I usually do, drink, don't drink coffee at every break, um, eating reasonable meals, setting a time when I'm going to go in at night. You know, I know there's peer pressure to stay out a little bit later, but I'm, I set my I set my boundaries and it's helped me to stay energized and stay focused throughout the sessions. Um, Kevin? Yeah. yeah, so Don, thank you for that. And so I'm on the other end of the spectrum and uh, as an extrovert, <laughs> um, I do get my energy from um, being surrounded by other people. Now, at Forum, obviously, you're... Um, surrounded by a bunch of people, but um, you're also attending a lot of those classes. And in those classes, I mean, you're for me, it's about concentrating on what um, what I'm there to learn. So I'm not actually recharging at that point. It's wh- where I'm recharging is typically during breaks and um, meal times. So when I when uh, in those periods i usually try to find somebody or find friends new friends old friends and just hang out um and that's when i actually um get my battery recharged and um i hate to say it sometimes i feel like i'm um i'm a vampire (laughs) sucking energy from people around me and hopefully that does that's not happening but uh but that's how i recharge my um my energy but the balance part is that for me, I, I keep a schedule. I'm old school. Um, and, uh, and so, um, so this year, um, it starts on Friday because we have, uh, um, instructors meeting on Saturday and then it goes all the way through Thursday. So, um, I use the app as well as the, uh, as the, um, uh, the one sheeter that I carry with me, and um, and that helps me to see where am I expected to be at. So all the obligatory stuff is color coded a different color than all my optionals, and then what I want to do. And so it also gives me an opportunity to put in there um, maybe my second choice for a class or third choice for a class in case the class gets filled up or um, the class is not what I expect it to be. So for me, it's um, it's just balancing out um, what um, what uh, I need to do to get to maximize my time at forum. What do you what do you th- uh, do, uh, Charlie? Um, well, hello, uh, Charlie Russell, Radio and GP. You know, um, I am an introvert too. I don't like talking to people. I like staying by being by myself. I don't stay out to four in the morning like Tara does. 
Oh, uh, no, I'm joking. I'm joking, right? No, so, so Don, and, and you no, know, listen to Don and listen to you, Kevin. I, I think I'm kind of more of like a hybrid. Um, I do love being around people. Um, my goal is I want to I want to meet new people every single time I go to form. I've been going to form since um, my first form was Orlando in 2000. I think it was 13, but don't quote me on that. Um, but like when I first got the form in Orlando, I was like I would I, I was on a mission. I wanted to meet and get to know everybody, but I also wanted to attend everything. I mean everything. Uh, during the day, the, the social life, you know, all that. But by the time it came around to Tuesday, Wednesday, I was so exhausted. I got home and my wife was like, what the hell happened to you? Um, but it is, it's <laughs> mentally exhausting. It's physically exhausting. And, you know, we keep talk talking about this balance. So, so one of the things that I try to do and um, I would encourage is don't feel like you have to go to everything. Um, like, Kevin, kind of like you said, you create this, this, you know, this list and maybe there is each day there's a, there's a handful of things like I got to get to this. But if you have ones that are optional or something like that, like, you know, could, could you miss, miss a session? Absolutely. Maybe you need to go back and take a quick little cat nap. Um, but, you know, I, I do remember there's times I, I've been like, okay, I can't, there's a session there's not a session I want to attend. So I started heading back to my room and then I, you know, I run into somebody that I haven't seen in a year. So then I start talking that about, you know, about just general life stuff. Well, just by sitting down talking and I get energized from that, that one-on-one. -on -one. So there's times I get energized by in a group setting, a social setting, but then I also get energized just talking to maybe it's Jody Jacoby, who I haven't seen in, in, in 12 months, you know? So I get energy from that too. So I, so I'm like a hybrid, but I guess to, for me to wrap it up to those that are attending forum, it is a balance. Um, as we get older, not that you can see that I'm getting older or anything. <laughs> I call it distinguished. I know. Right. Oh, good Lord. Um, but it, it's a balance and, 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 you know, you want to have fun at forum. You want to learn everything, network, get to know people, but it's, it's a balance you got to find for yourself. I feel called out by you, Charlie. So I know a lot of people would label me an extrovert. I am not, um, I am an introvert. So I actually tend more towards the Dawn side of things where I need my downtime. And so I just think it's interesting when we talk through this, we want to put everyone in a category of like, you're either an introvert or you're an extrovert. And the truth is we're all probably somewhere in between. There are going to be people that are on extreme sides of the spectrum. So I think just kind of hitting everything that everyone talked about and, and summarizing it sort of as a list of tips, you know, Don, you talked about knowing yourself and knowing how you recharge your battery. And Charlie, you talked about that too. Don, you talked about setting healthy boundaries and I could probably do better about that. I am the person who's out till two o'clock in the morning and I don't have a voice on the second day of forum. And, and so having a little bit better boundaries on sleep and recharging, Kevin talking about being intentional about how you recharge your battery, um, knowing what it is that energizes you and recharging. Because the truth is forum does recharge us in some ways professionally too. just the event itself gets you excited, but it can be exhausting in other ways. Um, speaking about managing your time, I think that was a new one for me, not feeling like you have to attend every session. And one of the interesting things now that there's the virtual forum component, it used to be that several sessions were recorded and you could go back and watch them. But this year, every session is going to be available for live stream. So even if there was something on Kevin's want to attend list, but he was filling off or like he needed a nap, or you could, you could say, look, I'm going to skip this session this time. It's not important that I attend it live. And maybe when I get back to the office, I'll watch it. Or maybe, you know, the day after forum, when I don't have a flight until later, I'll watch it before I catch my flight. So we have options. And I think just being aware of that, knowing yourself, setting appropriate boundaries. I think these are all very important things to say, 
don't get so caught up in the excitement of seeing our friends, some that we only see once a year, or feel like you're obligated because your agency or your chapter is paying for you to attend. You're going to get a lot out of it, but you're going to get the most out of it if you can show up the same on on Friday, Saturday, whenever it starts, as you do on Wednesday when it ends. Because if you're just exhausted in attending the sessions on Wednesday, you're not gonna you're not gonna pick up any of it. So I've really enjoyed kind of having this chat with you, learning a little bit more about all of you. It's funny you think you know a person. Um, <laughs> but with that, I'll just say thank you to anyone who's listening to us uh, as part of this session of Radio NIGP and. I'll speak for all of us. We're excited to see you at Forum this year. And if you see Don sitting alone, don't bug him. If you see Kevin sitting alone, he might need a, uh, he might need a visitor. Yes. <laughs> I'll give you yeah. a hug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Kirk Buffington with Radio NIGP. And I'm very pleased and excited to have with us today, Victor Lemer, who is one of the guiding lights, the, the originators, if you will, of radio and IGP. Uh, so it's oh. an honor for me to be talking to Victor because I have, you know, when I joined the cast a year and a half ago, it's like, who are these people that do these things? And, and you and Barbara particularly have put, just really put together such a great tool but today, we are going to talk about the Radio NIGP presence at Forum 2024 and where we'll be and wh when we'll be there and the opportunities for, for you all to share with us and for us to share with you. So, Victor, what do you have to say? Very excited because, Kirk, as you know, we're kind of behind a curtain where we produce our show and then we, we send it out for our audience to watch where we never get a chance to interact. And that's kind of the magic and intent behind radio. But at Forum, we get to step out behind the curtain like the Wizard of Oz and say, <laughs> yes, you know, we're here. Don't, don't don't pay attention to that man behind the curtain, but actually come interact with us. And we have two things that we're doing this year that we're very excited about. The first is a meet and greet where we'll have a table set up with almost the entire 20 staff of Radio NIGP and possibly some alumni stopping by where it's a chance to come by, say hi. Uh, we'll have a very interesting selfie frame, which is a box with, you know, three people that can put their faces in and there's radio NIGP and, and we're not going to give away details. You got to stop by the table and see it to take your picture, meet some of the staff. And then the best part is two things at the table. Uh, it's kind of like a suggestion box where if you have topics that you'd like us to cover, let us know. You can write those down or you can pose your question to us in an interview that we'll do and we'll use that question to introduce a segment in a future show. The other part is, and we're going to talk about this next segment in just a second, we're going to ask you specific questions that will be shown in a feature the next day and we're going to call that This Just In News and Views from Radio NIGP. And it's a 15-minute segment that will feature the topic of the day, the theme related to forum. Uh, and I'll just give you Sundays is driving procurement forward. Monday is emerging technology. Tuesday is burnout. And Wednesday is leadership. So we'll have questions the day before on the next day's topic. And we'll use that interview with people stopping by saying, what is your concern about emerging technology? Any concerns about AI in procurement? And we'll use that as part of our um, This Just In as we segue into that day's sessions and plenary speakers that you are actually part of it because procurement often doesn't get a chance to weigh in on themes of the day. We have to react and act. But when we get a chance to weigh in on it, it's going to be very exciting to see how that day unfolds to those topics. So we're very excited about those two areas where we get to interact with our audience. I love the idea of, you know, this idea of th this just in. Uh, there are so many topics, like you said, that we don't get a chance to really discuss in a, in a broad audience, if you will. Uh, AI, of course, um, you know, the most recent the most recent couple of court cases coming out of the U.S. Supreme Court and the effect they may have on, on the local level of procurement. So I'm very excited about that. And very excited about coming out from behind the curtain. <laughs> oh, and speaking 
of curtain and red <laughs> carpets is something we're doing this year for the first time at the Oscars or any major award ceremony. They announce the winner, the winner gives their speech, and then they have a post interview. And this yeah. year, for the awards that are only announced at Forum, we will interview the winners afterwards, immediately afterwards, and we'll use that in our uh, next show following Forum. So it's going to be very exciting to for those that are there, that get to see it live and then get the reaction as you go home and watch the next show. And and we're very excited uh, about being uh, involved with that part of Forum this year, too. And one tip real quick is... If you're at Forum, either virtually or in person, be sure to download the NIGP Forum app when it's available because those 15-minute uh, segments that we'll be doing will be featured on that app. So make sure you have it so that, especially if you're questioned the day before to find out, am I going to make it on the air or not? You'll find I out. Get it edited out or am I in? <laughs> So we are we were very excited about being in person and meeting uh, our our listening audience and uh, we are a how would you say a very unique group, we <laughs> uh, but we love procurement and we love interacting with our audience too. So we're very very excited. Well, thank you, Victor, so much for giving the membership an overview of what they can expect at least from radio and IGP. Um, the the interviews post award. Is really exciting. Uh, I, I I just think that's great for the the awardees. Um, I love having the presence there. You know, we did this last year, and it sounds like this year we're even kind of going another notch, another step up the ladder, if you will. So, Lord knows what we'll do next year. <laughs> stay anything, tuned. Anything that's right. Stay tuned. Anything yep. else you'd like to add? No, uh, just getting all my stuff together for the various sessions, trying to decide which ones to attend and which ones I get to watch afterwards, because that's what I love about NIGP is they post all the recorded videos and every session this year will be recorded so you can watch afterwards. If you're trying to toss a coin between two or three or even four sessions, don't worry, go to one that you think would be best in person and watch the rest later on. And also watch Radio NIGP. Thank you, Victor, so much. Everybody, don't forget the Forum 2024 app. Get it before you leave for Charlotte. And we look forward to seeing you. And I will be in a racing car driving. Driving. I'm a little scared. Victor, thank you so much for being here. And for Victor and myself and everybody else on the NIGP Radio NIGP cast, this is Radio NIGP. Hello and welcome to Radio NIGP. My name is Bobby Colston and I'm your host for the Deeper Dive Making a Splash segment. I am so pleased today to be joined by Belinda Siles. She is a staff member of uh, the NIGP family and she's also a friend of Radio NIGP. So Belinda is here to talk to us a little bit about uh, the Social Planning Task Force and some of the things that they put together uh, for attendees for this year. This task force was put together to enhance the member engagement experience during forum by strengthening connections amongst all attendees, both new and established through intentional and well-organized activities. So Belinda, before we dive into the activities. Tell our audience a little bit about yourself. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm Belinda Seitz. I have been with NIGP for over 20 years. Wow. <laughs> so it's, it's been a, a while. I've seen a lot of change over the years um, for the good. So we're, you know, we're growing in membership. We're growing in the services that we provide. We're enhancing our forum every year. So we're really excited about this year uh, and all the activities that we have planned. Oh, wow. Great. I can't wait to hear about some of those. So dive right in. What can our attendees expect this year? So um, the member council and the talent council came together to uh, create a program to ensure that we're not connecting just on the first day as we has, have historically done. But throughout the week, we're, we're creating opportunities for and attendees to engage outside of the sessions 
whether you're a first timer, whether you're not a first timer, but you've you don't have anyone you're traveling with and maybe you want to sit with someone or socialize or make new friends. So we've created opportunities throughout the week to -hmm. connect individuals. Uh, One thing I will say before I dive into the calendar is we will be conducting an orientation for it's geared towards first timers, but I encourage all attendees uh, to go to that. We have one for the virtual audience on August 14th. And on August 15th, we have one uh, webinar scheduled for the in-person. So these will be really helpful in preparing you for uh, attending the the forum and what to expect. We also have on the website, we have an FAQ button and we have a specific one for first timers that are attending the conference in Charlotte. So we encourage you to take a look at that as well. But we have an exciting week planned. So we're going to kick off on Saturday for the in-person event. Um, We will have an information booth this year staffed by volunteers that are going to be helpful if you have questions or you need directions or just general things you want to connect. Be sure to stop by there. It's going to be available Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, If you're a first timer, we do have some light up pins that we encourage you to pick up um we do have all the volunteers will be wearing bracelets so you can always point them out if you're not at the information booth and you just need to you know to ask a question you need a helping hand uh be sure to reach to look for those bracelets because they'll be wearing those um so saturday we'll have the um we'll have the booth available we're also going to be hosting our first timers event and our young professional event before the meet and greet the meet and greet is our big kickoff at the convention center Uh, we will have a gathering outside it's called on the green it's a green area outside the convention center so if you are alone you don't know anybody and you want to connect and go with a group through the social event that evening the the meet and greet meet us outside um before the event, I think the event starts at 4.30 or 5, 5.30, so it's going to be a few minutes before that. Make sure you will have a sign out there, just meet as a group, and then we'll go around to the meet and greet together. Um, the local planning committee is also going to be doing some dinner signups, and they typically have a table by registration. So if you want to continue um, gathering with other people outside of the meet and greet, feel free to stop by there and see what kind of dinner signups they have. Um, sun, on uh, Sunday, we have a worship hour in the morning uh, by Victor Lemer. It's going to start at 630. And we're going to continue with the information table. We're going to be interspersing wellness messages throughout the week. So look for those on the app to prompt you to maybe look at some sessions and learn a little bit more about wellness and take care of yourself. Um, We have a meetup before the awards dinner, which is going to be on Sunday night. So it'll be at that green area. That's going to be our common meeting place. So if you want to, you don't have anybody to sit with and you want to engage with other people, meet some new people, look for that sign of the group gathering on the green before the event. And we'll walk in together and sit together and maybe meet some new friends. Um, On Monday is the social event. That's the big event in Charlotte. So We're going to have, we're going to be taking buses there, but we will have an area outside um, of the buses for to meet up as well. If you want to go as a group to all the activities and meet some new friends. Um, And then on Tuesday, we will have the local planning committee is going to be doing, I believe it's a baseball game. Mm -hmm. So if you have registered for forum already, you are automatically included in the insight community. That's where a lot of buzz is going on right now. You can connect with people ahead of the conference. So we encourage you to use that as well. So like I said, we have lots of different opportunities for you to engage with other members and hopefully make some good connections and lifelong friends. Oh, wow. That sounds so exciting. So where can our audience go now to find out more information about the events and activities that the task force has planned? Well, we're creating a calendar that we will be distributing on the Insight Group. It's not located on our website yet, so I'm in the process of gathering volunteers to help with those events. But once we get a firm schedule, we'll be including that in the Insight community so you can connect 
Also, feel free to stop by the information booth if you ever have any questions about what's going on that day. Um, we'll be happy to help you out there as well. Wow. So thank you so much, Belinda. I am excited and, and looking forward to form and participating in some of these activities with uh, some first timers and with some uh, folks that's been there before. So thank you so much for stopping by and joining us here uh, at A Deeper Dive. I like to say hello and uh, welcome to our studio, to our audience. If this is your first time tuning in to Radio NIGP, please make sure to come back here again. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Hello and welcome to Radio and IGP. In the spirit of preparing for forum, let's talk a little bit about relationships. Many of you have attended forum or even attended virtual forum, and this is a great opportunity to build relationships with other procurement professionals across North America. We have over 17,000 members of in, in IGP, and, it's, and they have come from all walks of life and all experiences. So Forum is an excellent opportunity to build a relationship with other procurement professionals because you never know when you might need that colleague to give you an idea, suggestion, or just a kind ear to listen to when things are not going so great. Another thing to consider at Forum is building relationships with our suppliers. Historically, there, you know, it used to be where procurement and the supplier community was a hands-off, you know, almost adversarial relationship. But we found over the years that building up true partnership with suppliers can help us achieve the greatest goals for our, our public entities. At Forum during the for, during the Products Expo, there'll be literally hundreds of suppliers that you will get an opportunity to meet and greet. Many will be offering presentations during Forum, and this is an opportunity to take advantage of building relationships with suppliers who might be able to help you with solutions in the future. Perfect example is, is a supplier who offers electronic uh, bond securities. This is great for those of us that work in construction and they offer a, a, a new level of protection in regards to preventing surety fraud when it comes to bonds. Uh, several colleagues and I met them back in forum a couple of years ago and we saw other presentations from them and recognized that, that their, our relationship with them could lead to better things when it comes to construction procurement and, and making sure that we have that surety to protect our entities. Think about this as you prepare for form and find those suppliers who might lead to other opportunities in the future. Thank you and have a great day. And we'll see you at Forum 2024. Hello, I'm Keith Glatz. I want to welcome you to Way to Grow, an NIGP mentorship moment. Normally on Way to Grow, we concentrate on growth through mentorship. But today I want to talk about something a little bit different, a means to achieve growth, but yet a little bit more unconventional. Today I'm going to talk about growth through adversity. This is an NBC News special report. Good day, everyone. I'm Kristen Dahlgren in New York, and we are coming on the air at this hour with news of a school shooting in South Florida. This took place in Parkland, Florida at Douglas High School. No word yet on casualties, but the reporter is still at large. We have been watching students coming out of that high school, their hands in many cases uh, in the air. Also, heavy tactical teams are on the ground. Again, the shooter still at large. We're told that the FBI agents from Miami are en route to that school in Broward County, uh, Florida. Today, we're looking at growth in a little bit different perspective. The idea that there can be growth through adversity. Today, I'm standing in front of a building that's being demolished. Nothing unusual for those of us in public procurement. We contract for that all the time, but this building's a little bit different. For back on February 14th, 2018, a horrendous murder of 17 individuals occurred with injuries to 17 others 
some who actually live in my own neighborhood. This is the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Building 1200, where the crime occurred. It's been kept in place until now because of the need to have the building itself used as evidence for several trials. That's over with. School is done for the year, so now they're demolishing it. It's been agonizing for individuals who have gone through this, especially the families of the deceased. Let me show you something over here. During this demolition, the school district has erected these tents for the families to watch as the building is torn down. My question, is that growth? Well, some say it's closure, some others say perhaps not. But has growth occurred since that time? I would say yes. Some new laws have been passed. Uh, new provisions for security and safety have gone into place. So there's been growth on a collective social basis. And I'm sure that watching this closure for the families will help to elicit some growth on their part. It's not always the pleasant things that cause us to grow, but sometimes the unpleasant aspects of life that make us grow. This is Keith Glatz reminding you that this is Radio NIGP. Hello, friends. It is that time of year. We are preparing for one of NIGP's biggest and most amazing events of the year, Forum. We sincerely hope that each of you are able to attend and participate in some capacity whether virtual, in-person, or only able to attend a day or two, you will not want to miss this. Hopefully after today's broadcast, you know what to bring, how to plan, and perhaps we're introduced to some fun ways to engage with procurement professionals across the country and Canada. If you are a first time, we know it can be overwhelming. Sometimes those of us that have been going for years feel that way too, bless our hearts. Just remember to download the app ahead of time, make a plan for the sessions that interest you, and be present. Be willing to introduce yourself to people you do not know. If you're attending in person, participate in events you might otherwise skip. You will never forget or regret the connections you make with others. Friendships that last a lifetime often originate from a simple connection at Forum. That person that you meet might have the answer to your next procurement struggle. You just never know. But if hearing about all this Forum information has you feeling a little blue or a little sad or a little left out because you can't attend this year, I would challenge myself and think, what am I going to do to make sure I'm there next year? Hmm. In the meantime, keep making that procurement magic happen. Enjoy the new fiscal year and connect with peers on Insight and start your engines as we race towards the final weeks before forum. Take care, friends.
But wait, there's more! Come back next month for the August episode of Radio NIGP for more news about the annual forum celebration in Charlotte.